Alright, you know what grinds my gears? First of all, it grinds my gears when I've had to watch all these other grinding my gears videos and watching everybody else get tagged in, not me. And I'm only filming this video because Discovering Religion broke the rules and just tagged everybody on his channel. Good enough. It grinds my gears when I have to drive 30 minutes each way spending half a uh, quarter of a tank of gas every day just to get the school that I'm observing at for my teacher education program. It grinds my gears when I think that there are other students in the teacher education programs that also have to make these horrendous drives to get to their uh, observation schools but they don't have 40 hour a week jobs so they can't afford the gas money. It grinds my gears when I have to work a 40 hour a week job and have to balance the job with class because the GI Bill doesn't pay nearly enough to pay all of my expenses. It grinds my gears when I'm watching a YouTube video that I think is wonderful, that I think that I could use for education, and the YouTuber blows it because he uses profanity or inappropriate material in his YouTube video and all of a sudden uh, the video is no good. I have considered the idea of uh, downloading the video and editing so that the profanity and objectionable content is taken out, but quite frankly, I don't care that much about your videos to bother uh, censoring them in that way. So I just won't use your video. It grinds my gears that my videos are less popular because they're uh, educational in nature, but a guy can uh, film a video about him falling off a skateboard and get thousands of views. It grinds my gears when I try to make my videos a little bit more interesting by adding mm, classical music and such like that. Uh, material that's supposed to be public domain and free from copyright, and suddenly when I post a video, I get a copyright notice. That really grinds my gears when I can get a copyright notice on something that's supposed to be copyright free. Uh, speaking of copyright violation, it really grinds my gears when I can't find the droids I'm looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Are you sure that's not the droid I'm looking for? That certainly looks like the droid I'm looking for. Hey, he says these aren't the droids we're looking for. Hmm, let's see, we have a brown one and a green one. We're looking for the blue one, right? Yeah, we're looking for the blue one. Well, I guess those aren't the droids we're looking for. Move along, then. It really grinds my gears when I couldn't use the Family Guy parody that I know everybody else is thinking right now because it was removed from the internet due to copyright violation. Really, Family Guy? You're gonna be that petty? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It grinds my gears when I screw up the live video and have to go back and edit it after the fact. It grinds my gears what I'm observing in this particular high school. Uh, and I'm seeing students that are very bright, very studious, have good heads on their shoulders. I mean, they, they, they know what they're talking about. And they got a bright future ahead of them, but because of the economy, they have absolutely nothing. No job prospects lined up. And they spend all that time working themselves through high school. And they have nothing. There will be no job. There will be uh, no funding for their education should they choose to go to college. That really grinds my gears. It really grinds my gears when people post videos to their YouTube channels that are absolutely disrespectful of people's uh, beliefs and worldviews and cultures. Uh, sure, you're an atheist so you don't agree with other people's religions. Grant that. You're going to have disagreements about, about theology and politics and all the rest of that. What we need to do is we need to get ourselves to the point where we begin to understand and respect other people's beliefs and worldviews and differences of opinion. It grinds my gears when atheists and agnostics and other non-religious people 
really get that point and really do try to understand and respect the beliefs of others. But then, religious people continue to be disrespectful of other people. I just don't get it. You want us to respect and understand your beliefs, but you are some of the most intolerant and bigoted people on YouTube. Really, Jack? Really? Jack, I'm, I'm asking you specifically. You want to know why atheists make fun of Christians and other religious people on YouTube? Using ridicule as our primary defense. What about your fellow Christians who disrespect us for not believing what you believe? Say it with me, folks. That really grinds my gears. And of course, it really grinds my gears when uh, this video right now is atrocious and it will only get slightly better after I do a little of creative editing and pair it down to a size of belief. But I have to get ready to go to work because I work 40 hours a week and then sit in class all day and then drive 30 miles to the school where I am observing at. Yeah, time to start the cycle all over again. And that's what really grinds my gears, Tom. Let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. No, Grandpa, I do need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Of course they are. There's the gold one and there's the little white one. Move along. Hey, don't tell me to move along. I'm the one with the gun. You guys want to back me up on this? You got the gun, Sarge. Damn straight I do. Okay, now it's my turn to tag some people. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing that Discovering Religion did, and I'm going to break the rules. Yes, I'm going to tag everybody that's subscribed to my YouTube channel, but I'm also going to specifically tag some people that don't even have YouTube channels. I'm going to convince these guys to maybe start their own YouTube channels, because a couple of these are teachers, and I want them to post educational videos on their channels, so that we may begin to share resources that we may used to enhance our respective students' education. The first is Rose Langdon, also known as Rose Zerke, who is in the Teacher Education Program in Northern California. Tell me, Rose, what grinds your gears? The second is Anulika Malukwu of Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, old acquaintance of mine. Uh, tell us, Annie, uh, what's the education process like there in Nigeria? But before you do that, tell me, what grinds your gears? And the third is Jennifer Olson. Now, Jennifer isn't necessarily an educator, but she did post some religious comments onto her Facebook page, and I took the opportunity to hear that loud crunching sound as I began to step on her toes. I really didn't mean to offend her, of course, but now it's her turn. She has every right now to slam me. Go ahead, Jennifer. I can take it. I'm a big boy. Tell me. What grinds your gears? Oh, here's the choice we're looking for.